What's up, YouTube? I'm going to talk to you today about ick. A lot of people have been asking me how to treat ick. So, basically, ick is a parasite, and you can get it into your tank and by uh, just putting sick fish into your tank or by stressing your fish out and having poor water conditions. So, definitely, you want to be able to notice and treat ick. Now, ick looks like just little white spots on your fish um, it could be a few they can be a lot it just looks like you know the fish has been drizzled in like I don't know powdered sugar or something so um, definitely keep an eye out on your fish uh, you definitely want to notice it in an early stage so that you can treat it because if it gets hold of your fish for too long he'll you know you'll start to notice that the fish will just be sitting on the bottom and sooner or later you know it's it's hard to save the fish at that time so uh keep a close eye on your fish and um and just make sure that your water conditions are good and you don't invite ick into your tank now um how to treat ick for the most part, what you want to do is make sure first, firstly, do uh, test your water, check your ammonia and your nitrate, um, check the levels. If the levels are too high, do a partial water change, change about a third of the water, and um, make sure you have adequate oxygen in your tank. Make sure your filtration is good. Um, and you might want to add some aquarium salt in there. Now, aquarium salt is not like regular salt. It's it's not like table salt or anything. So make sure you add aquarium salt. It doesn't make the water uh, salty or anything like that. It's just uh, it's just a mineral, and it aids in uh, in gill function. So it allows the fish to breathe better. So definitely. Uh, add some aquarium salt. Remember always to follow the uh, dosing directions on the labels. Um, okay, I'm not going to recommend any type of name brand medi medication or anything like that because, you know, depending on where you are looking at this video, you know, you might not have access to, to the medication that I use. So, go down to your local pet store and ask the guy, look, your fish has ick, what is the best medication that you have? I mean, you want something that's going to treat the ick, potentially lower the stress of the fish, and when fish are stressed out and, you know, they're, they're diseased, you know, they're going to swim around all crazy, they might bump into stuff, hurt themselves, get gashes that might get infected, so, you know, seek out a medication if you can that will treat the ick but also you know aid in the stress and any fungal and bacterial infections as well so that would be great um the next thing is you definitely want to spike the temperature up gradually just a little bit what increasing the temperature does is basically shortens the life of the parasite so you don't want to give the parasite ideal living conditions where he'll just uh, you know procreate and 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 have an amazing uh, life life in in the tank you don't want to do that so just uh, know the fish you have uh, know their temperature parameters and um, just spike the temperature. I usually, I, ha I deal with all cichlids, so I usually, if that ever happens, I'd spike the temperature up to about 82 degrees, um, and I think that's perfect, just 82 degrees. Make sure you add the aquarium salt, just to, you know, help the fish breathe. Um, make sure, like I said earlier, your oxygen is good, your ammonia and nitrate levels are down, and your filtration is good and uh, follow the directions of the medication and you should be fine um, the, the ick usually the directions will tell you to uh, do the dosing for maybe a week or three four days or whatever it is but just follow that 
keep doing the water changes if the medication, uh, if the directions say to do so and um, your ick should go away but the key is to notice the ick early and uh, definitely get on it before it escalates into something much worse um, so definitely keep an eye on your fish if you have any more questions just let me know leave a comment and I'll be happy to make a video and give you guys advice and uh, and share my experience with you so uh, good luck for all of those who have ick treat your fish man don't have it die and uh, best of luck see you soon